<laughs> yes. Hello, my savory friend. <laughs> nice suit. I hereby claim this sandwich as territory of Brandon. Ow. Why didn't I claim it? Everybody, welcome to our fabulous basement studio. I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and this is the So-and-So Show. Here we have our desk, which is brown, like dirt. Or wood. And over here, we have a rubber chicken. Don't be fooled, it's authentic. <laughs> what are you doing? Does anything say what? professional, like a squirrel head? <laughs> I don't think so. What are you doing, John? It's National Show Off Your Studio in the hopes of winning an award day. No, it's not. What? It's not? No, that was a month ago. Ah! I missed it? Yeah. Man, how did we do? We got third place. Oh, but then we should so celebrate that. Oh, we did celebrate. What? There was cake. Oh. There you go. <gasps> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And to help us celebrate more, please welcome someone who knows stuff. Mm. Hey, come on in. Yes, wow. I love that outfit. That, that That's great. Here, have a seat. Have a seat. If, if, oh, yep, sorry, yeah, I'm not careful. trying to. If, if, Dress is big oh, now. Oh, there we go. Okay, we, know, we know who you are, but uh, tell everyone who you are and what you know. Uh, uh, everybody, this is our friend Sugar. She works at a carnival. By night. Oh, and... By day? I work elsewhere. Where, exactly? Birthday parties, company picnics, family reunions. Whenever the occasion needs an entertainer to make it more fun. Today, they wanted a princess, so... There you go. So, okay. People pay you to come to their party to make it more fun? <laughs> That's wonderful. That's such a cool job to, to get to dress up and celebrate with people. Yeah. I mean, most people can't wait to get off work to go to a party, but you go to a party for work. <laughs> yeah, making people happy is so rewarding. How nice. So, so what exactly do you do at parties? I make them more fun. Yeah, yeah right, but how? Number one, character. Number two, stories. Number three, balloon animals. And number four, face paint. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome. Hey, hey, walk us through that. Okay, so number one is character. What, what character are you playing today? Princess Sugar. Yeah, you, oh, you didn't pick a different name? Yeah. I added the princess. Oh. Number two, stories. Gather round, children. Gather round. Are you, are you okay? <clears throat> Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a princess named Princess Sugar. <laughs> she worked at a carnival selling cotton candy. And sometimes, she did other stuff. The end. The ending kind of sneaks up on you there. Yeah. How about number three, balloon animals? Yeah! Cube spin. Watch and learn. Oh, wow. That, yeah, your finger's supposed to be purple. Oh, wow. That's a good call. Good call. Look at that. Mm. 
It's a doggy. Look at the knee. Now you. No. Uh, oh. Okay. So we just put this here. Oh. Whoa. Ah. I'm trying to make a V. I made a V. Yeah. I made a balloon. Nice. Let's try face painting. Why not? Take your pick. Oh, oh! I'll take a uh, soccer ball. I'll take the tiger. That seems exciting. Okay. Does that take a long time to paint? Depends on the painter. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, get started. Wait. Wait. You want us to do the painting? No, 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 <laughs> no. That would not go well. <laughs> I don't think so. Come on, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a party, remember? Don't you have something to celebrate? Yeah, I mean, we got third place on National Show Off Your Studio in hopes of winning an award day. All right, then. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. All right. All right, here you go. Yeah, you wanted a soccer ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tiger, right? So, yeah. so orange here. Orange, orange. Mm -hmm. Done. Also done. All right. Can I see it? How? Probably best if you didn't. Mm -hmm. Can I? Definitely not. Okay. Hey, Sugar, this was fun. You, you, you certainly are great at all the party things. Thanks for teaching us about what you do, and you want to stick around? I would, but I got the whole princess party thing oh. I got to get to. <laughs> right, 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 right. All right, well, right, thanks right. for coming on the show today, Sugar. Yeah! <laughs> so much fun. All right. Yeah, no, yeah. Get off my dress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not used to that. Hey, hat. We should wash our faces. Absolutely. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Bye. Let's go. Hey, fellas. Hi there, Kellen. What do you have for us today? Today, we're finishing up our story on Nehemiah. Okay, so all month long, we've been talking about a guy named Nehemiah. He was an Israelite who lived in the kingdom of Persia and worked for the Persian king. But when Nehemiah found out that his homeland, and more specifically, the city of Jerusalem, was not in good shape, the king allowed him to return home to rebuild the wall surrounding the city. I like to build! Oh, hey, Horvath! Hi, Callan! I like to build things, like Jenga towers! Right! Well, since you're here, maybe you can help me build understanding for today's story. I would love nothing more! Great! Everybody, this is... Horvath! I combine the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger! Let's do this! All right. So... After Nehemiah checked out the wall and saw all the problems with it, he got people together to help rebuild the wall. Now, each person in their family picked a section and worked to repair that part of the wall. Oh, stop right there, first exercise. It's time for the fix and build. You've got to get at the eye levels. Then we fix and build. Woo, 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 woo. We do this 31 times. Go. One. Two, 17, tooth fairy, blue jean jacket, 31. Ah! <laughs> now, enemies nearby tried to attack. Attack? Yes. Well, that's not very nice. Is... No, it is not. But their attacks didn't work. God helped and protected the people. And the people kept working extremely hard every day. They worked from the time that the sun rose in the morning to when the stars came out at night. Second exercise! This is called sun to stars. First, the sun goes across the sky. <sighs> then the stars come out at night. <laughs> we will do this 327 times. Okay, go. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Caterpillar. Do, 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 do. Hans Zimmer! Dun, 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 dun. 
327! Okay, what's next? Kelly, what's next? Did they complete the walls or what? Oh, uh, well, you kind of stole my thunder, but yes, yes they do. Perfect, I love a happy ending. Me too. They finished rebuilding the wall in 52 days. It's pretty amazing how much they did in such a short amount of time. All their enemies became afraid because they could see that God had helped them. Whoa, God helped them? Yeah. Now that is very nice. Yes, it is. And so all the people gathered together and a teacher named Ezra read them the book of the law of Moses, part of what we now call the Old Testament. When Ezra opened the book, the people stood up. Ezra praised the Lord, and the people raised their hands, saying, Amen. And they bowed down and worshipped God. Third exercise, the raise and praise. First we raise our hands, and then we bow down to worship God. We will do this 7,000 times. 7,000? You can't worship God so many times. That's what I say. Goes, ones, twos. Oh, 20 toes. Oh, elevator music. Oh, starfish. Oh, stamps. Oh, 7,000. Yeah, <laughs> good jobs. As the people listened to God's law, they became very sad and began to weep. Oh, they began to sweep. Sweep exercise. Sweep. No, 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 no. Not sweep. Weep. They were, they were crying. Oh, the people were sad because they realized that they're not living the way God wanted them to live. But Ezra and Nehemiah told them to not be sad. They told them to be happy and celebrate because it was a holy day. They told them the joy of the Lord would make them strong. For the exercise, put on some happy face muscles. First, we make a sad face. Then we are happy. All right, we do this 18 times. Go! One, two, curly fries, 92, Carnegie Mellon, 18. <laughs> the people rejoiced. They built booths all around and lived in them for several days. They had a great feast. And every day during the feast, they celebrated God and listened to Ezra read them the law. They hadn't celebrated with so much joy in a long time. That is beautiful. I feel like I'm going to sweeps. <laughs> Sweet. Or you could celebrate. Okay. <laughs> That's the end of our story today. God helped the people rebuild the wall and they celebrated him for what he had I done. I love to celebrate. Back to you guys. Wow, the people had a great reason to celebrate. Totally, they rebuilt that wall in record time. And it's so cool they recognized God was helping them. Sometimes it's so easy to just breeze right by what God is doing. Excellent insight, John. Mm -hmm. Let's reveal the question. Mm -hmm. What is God doing in your life that you can celebrate? Yeah, God is always doing good things in our lives. We can always celebrate how God sent Jesus to be our Savior. Mm -hmm. And there are things God is doing in our lives right now. Uh, maybe he's helping you with a project or goal like Nehemiah. Or, or giving you new friends to talk to. Mm -hmm. Or taking care of someone you love. Yeah, talk about it together and see what it is you can celebrate. And we will see you next week. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So and So, -and -so, -so Show. Show. Let's rhyme. Rhyme? Yeah, it's time. Lime. Is this Horvath's party? Yeah, I'm Horvath, and this is my party! All right, I'm Princess Sugar. Princess, swift exercise! Number one, we do the princess waves like this. Nope, princesses don't exercise, we read stories. But you just don't care. Let's dance at my parties, ready? Go! Look at me dancing! Ha, 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 ha.